Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay, girls. Let's let's be smart. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck me. Look what happened. Oh, we're covered in mud. Son of a bitch. For fuck's sakes. Oh. Oh no. Look at this. Let's go wash your feet, huh? Come on, Jamie. Jamie's up on the wall. I'm bathing my feet in. <laughs> you gotta be careful. That's why you gotta be careful. It's wet up there. Okay, let's go. Come on. Wash your feet and let's go. I have the same problem. Come on. Jamie fell off the top. I missed it. He must have slid down like stairs. Come on, it's fine. You're stuck now. Come on. What an adventurous walk we're having. This is why I stopped the video. Come on. It's your fault. Come on. Come on, let's go. And the fun begins. For Buenos dias. We're on our morning walk with Baby Eve. Baby Micah, Ghost, Strid, and Jamie's behind us somewhere. I don't know what the hell he's doing. So I'm gonna stand over here and wait for him to come. I'm probably he's walking around circles. Uh, we finally got back to working out. Actually, I've been working out the whole time. I took, I took last week off. Today's Monday. I took last week off, kind of. Uh, it was like a holiday in Nicaragua. So I spent the whole week I spent the, I'm not sure if my mic was actually even connected. I spent the whole week uh, building uh, parallel bars, pull up bars, uh, parallel bars, what else, monkey bars for the kids. And so I built, I built all those things this week and uh, I'll show you at the beginning of the video uh, all the stuff that I built. I built the bars so that you can take them apart uh, into two pieces or screw them together for more stability. And we're gonna start doing workouts. Um, they're gonna be a little bit different every week. Uh, one week we're gonna do barbell focus workouts. The next week we're gonna do uh, parallel focus workouts, bar workouts, uh, like we did today, like this week. This week we're doing the parallel bar workouts. Uh, we're still gonna keep um, a lot of the workouts in place. They're not bar workouts, just because they're more efficient and easier to do over, uh, progressive overload on like the tricep push downs. I'm gonna keep that in every week for triceps. It's the easiest one to, to do. So switching it out. And I'm having trouble walking with goals pulling, recording, and pushing Micah's car. Wow. Jamie's having a problem. And, uh, and then the third week, we're going to do dumbbell focus exercises. So we're gonna replace some of the exercises with dumbbells. Um, but we're not going to replace the, um, we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on. Uh, I'm gonna focus on prioritize weighted dips and weighted pull-ups uh, when we do when we do back and, tri and tricep day. When we do back and bicep and chest and tricep day, I'm gonna focus on the weighted calisthenics for those things because I want to get my numbers up so that I can finally get that damn fucking ghost. I almost fucking knocked us over. Fuck sakes. Fuck, it's fucking struggling walking. Uh, anyways, what the fuck was I saying? I forgot what I was saying now. I wanna focus on getting that ring muscle up and then the bar muscle up. That's been my goal for such a long time to get that. So I'm gonna focus on the weighted dips, weighted pull-ups to get that ring muscle up first and then the bar muscle up. And uh, once I get to 11, once I get to 11 body weight dips, which I think I might have done today, I'm not sure. And 11 push-ups, body weight push-ups, I'm gonna add weight to the exercise. And once I get it to, I forget what the number is, um, Ian Eagles, Eagles Bar, I, I bought his program to see what he does. So I'm gonna add some of his stuff. And I forget, I think he says, I forget how many reps, I'm gonna look into it. There's a number of reps you should do with a certain amount of weight before you start doing any skill 
uh, calisthenic skills. And so I'm gonna try and get to that weight that he recommends. And enjoy the video. I'm gonna cut off here because I gotta walk through this shit. Look at this. I gotta push Micah through the car with a ghost. But enjoy the video. Like and subscribe if you're not a little bitch. And remember, don't work out like a pussy, work out like a man. And enjoy the video. Say bye. Say bye, Micah. Say bye, Jamie. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I'm walking in. My guy, guy. Say bye. We're saying bye now. We're saying bye. Bye. And we're back from after taking a week off. I took a week off. Well, I didn't really take a week off. I was doing push ups, not push ups. Actually, I was doing some push ups, some pull ups, and some dips on our new stuff. You actually can see behind me, I built, I welded a whole bunch of stuff. So during the Santo Domingo celebrations, things were a little bit slow. So I built, so I built this pull up bar. So we built a pull up bar. It comes three feet out. And I have uh, bearings on the side, so it actually spins around. And it's gonna make it harder to do pull ups. And it's actually gonna be harder to do the dead hangs. We're gonna do dead hangs on the spinny bar. Kind of like at the, that they have at the carnival. Our goal is going to be to get a uh, hundred, a hundred minutes, a hundred minutes, a hundred seconds on that. And then I also built parallettes. So you have three different sizes of parallettes. Uh, this is the lowest one that we're, uh, we're going to use for body weight exercises. This is the second highest one. And then I also built parallel bars up here. So uh, yeah, so build that. And I also built a jack to lift up the the deadlifts, so you can see that, see us use that tomorrow. And I also bought, I built two more sets of pull-up bars. Uh, I'm gonna put one in my office, and put one somewhere else. Uh, I just had the material, so I decided just to weld up a bunch of, more, uh, a couple more pull-up bars. And I'm just waiting on a step bit to make the hole a little bit bigger so I can put the, the pipe in. And also, I welded the kid monkey bars. So the kids have monkey bars, we move the scaffolding around. The kids have monkey bars with their swings. The monkey bars over here. And then we have monkey bars over there too. I just need to weld, weld them on. They're spaced a little bit more. Uh, but my goal is to uh, every week do a little bit different exercises uh, just to change things up and also to um, expand my strength. I want, my, I want to be able to do uh, body weight exercises just as much as uh, weighted exercises with barbell. So my goal is to one week focus on using the barbell Next week, focus on using the parallettes for bodyweight exercises. The week after that, uh, focus on doing dumbbell exercises. So switch out some of the exercises for dumbbells. Uh, and then the fourth week, we're going to do bodyweight again by using rings. And uh, we're not going to switch out all the exercises. Some exercises are a staple, like the deadlifts. The deadlifts are not going to be taken out at all. We're going to be using, doing deadlifts every time with the barbell. But things like uh, bench press, we're going to substitute with, with parallel push-ups, parallel push-ups, uh, ring push-ups, and we're going to do them weighted. And um, yeah, I think that's enough of a description of what we're going to do. And we're going to switch up also the warm-up. We're going to come back with L-sits. We're going to do L-sits on the parallel bars or on the parallettes. And let's see how long we can hold the L-sits for. And we're back. And Micah's, Micah came to join us. Micah's crawling around now. So Micah's gonna join in on our workouts and probably spill my coffee. Uh, I just touched something. So we're gonna set the timer to one minute. We're gonna go to one minute. And okay, let's watch, my, I'm scraping my coffee. And let's see how long Aiden can hold his L-sit. Which, which progression are you doing for L-sit? So Aiden's gonna do a regular L-sit with his legs out. And when you can't hold your legs out anymore, you can tuck them in. But hold the support hold. The support hold is the important part here because you want to warm up your triceps and your chest. Okay, so this is support hold with an L-sit, which is just called an L-sit. But the L-sit, the support hold is the important part. And you can start whenever the timer says to start. And it's magnetic, so we got it right there. And we're gonna start off with the bigger parallel bars. Parallettes. Fuck, look at Aiden with the L-sit. It's a little bit saggy, but it's an L-sit. Mm. 
No, no. What? Would you hurt you? Lay cramp. Yeah, leg cramp. That's actually. I actually saw a video about warming up, so you don't get leg cramps. So maybe we should warm up before we do the L-sits, huh? Well, why is that so intense that you get a cramp? Let's let's do that again. Though. That wasn't good at all. It's fine. Okay, we'll try again. Take a break. Take a break. Start the timer over again, and we'll come back. I can't fucking do that unless we're waiting on your shit. It's fine, we'll come back. Fucking leg cramps. We'll come back. Okay, we're back. Aiden uh, rested. And uh, if the leg cramp thing happens again, we're probably going to do some kind of warm up. But we'll see. But this is the warm up, so we'll see what happens. Maybe he needs to have more salt in his diet. He needs more, um, what's it called? Electrolytes in his body. Okay, ready? I'm going to start the timer again. See if he can hold it for a minute. Remember, bring your, tuck your legs back in if you can't hold your legs out anymore. The support holds the important part here. You want to warm up your, your triceps and your, and your chest. Yeah, hold that. Hold it. Tuck your legs and pick them up, lift them up. Higher, higher, higher. Push down, push your legs down. No, no, tuck your legs in, but lift your knees higher. No, he's fucking something. Oh. <laughs> you got 20 seconds to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You got eight seconds in, eight seconds. Five, four. Nice. I think Mike took his shit. One minute, come on. What's that? One minute. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing Aiden just did, but I'm gonna do my tucks. For some reason, I can't do an L sit. And that's probably because I've never done an L-sit in my life. I, was, I just uh, kept doing the ring, the ring support holds. Um, so the support holds can be easy. The L-sits can be hard. So I'm going like, to try and get an L-sit, and then eventually we're going to try to get a V-sit. And uh, I'm going to hold the tuck position for a minute. And if I can't hold it for a minute, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, bring my legs down and hold the support hold. So we're trying to warm up our chest. Push my knees as high as I can. The time return to me. And this is intense. You, and you were talking about it not being a high intensity workout. I'm leaning forward a little bit. Leaning more my chest is crossed. That's becoming a scientific lifter now. Some scientific guy with the stretch. progress I'll do the next progression in the L sit which I think is sticking one leg out or taking turns putting the legs out so maybe I'll do that next uh, <laughs> next week on the parallels and we'll be right back with we're gonna start with um, decline push-ups we're gonna decline push-ups no it's not dips oh yeah the weighted dips sorry weighted dips Aiden has the workout we're gonna do weighted dips oh wait we're doing weighted dips because we're gonna prioritize Weighted dips and weighted pull-ups to get our to get our um, dip and pull-up numbers up, but we're not going to do them weighted until we're able to do uh, 15 pull-ups and 20 dips without weight. So that's our first goal, and then once we get there, we're going to add weight. 
And actually, uh, I'm f uh, I'm f I, I paid for and downloaded uh, Ian Eagle, what's his name? Eagle, Eagle's Bar, his stuff to see what he does. And I'm gonna add a little bit of what he's doing. He does two sets, we're just gonna do one. And we'll be right back with that. And we're back, and Jamie joined in, and we're gonna do dips. Jamie's doing, Jamie's doing, uh, he's at the support hold. The bars are kind of far away from him. But Jamie's gonna join in with the exercises whenever he can. Now he's just showing off. What's that called, Jamie? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It's called the Spider-Man? Yeah. Spider-Boy. Spider-Boy. Spider yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna see Aiden how many dips Aiden can do. Let's see how many dips Aiden can do. And see, uh, we're gonna work on his technique. And I think he's gonna get to 20 dips before I am. He has light body weight. He's lightweight. 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 <laughs> Go lightweight. Do it. The bars are kind of far apart. They're 24 inches apart, which I think is a good good distance. For me, it is. It might be a little bit far for Aiden. Go down, up. Yeah, like that, like that. Bend over a little bit. Yeah. And you go faster. Go faster. Be more explosive. Two. Three. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Down, down. Yeah, right there. Right there is good. You're getting a little bit deep. But that's deeper is better than, than not. That's good. Do you have three? And then next week, next week, you're going to probably be able to do four. And with the body weight exercises, I'm going to try and be a little bit more explosive on the body weight exercises. Because um, I think it's beneficial to be explosive on the body weight stuff to get, um, to get into the muscle up position. You want to be explosive in the muscle up. So I'm going to be a little bit more explosive, maybe move a little bit quicker than I do with the weighted stuff, with the dumbbells and barbells. And so I'll be back with my turn, see how many dips I can do. Write down below how many dips you think I can do. <laughs> Okay, it's my turn to do dips. Jim is joining me in front. Uh, let's see how many dips I can do. How many dips can you do, Jimmy? Move the bench. Wait, let me go here. Jimmy, move your ass. Your veins are folding. What the hell? The last push, the chest muscles are contracting. <laughs> no. okay, so I did 10 or 11, depending if that first one counted when I hit the bench. And uh, try to hold that last rep for 10 seconds. And we're not doing, I'm not going to do drop sets anymore or do assisted reps at the end because we're doing so many exercises um, that uh, it's going to be too much volume. So uh, I'm going to remove the drop sets and the uh, assisted reps. Uh, and I've also seen or read that people even have better progress without uh, going past failure. So we're just gonna go to failure, then hold that last rep for 10 seconds, and that's it. Move on to the next exercise. And the next exercise we do is going to be decline push-ups with parallettes. And Aiden's getting ready. And we're gonna add weight to this uh, as soon as we get more than 10 reps. Uh, as soon as one of us gets 11 reps, we're going to add 5 pounds to this exercise. Probably with a backpack or some other way. And we're just going to keep adding weights to this, just like the incline bench press. Okay, let's do it. And he's using the smallest parallettes that we made. And let's do it. Same ones. Same ones. And he's putting his feet up on the bench to get it elevated. So it's a decline. It's a decline push-up. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, like that, just like that. One, two, three, go as low as you can. Four, five. And with this, you actually get a, low, a better stretch than you do with the bench press. Seven. Seven. Eight. And then push on the last one. Push, 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 push. Oh, fuck, you got it. Can you do another one? Do it, do it, do it. Push, 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 push until your chest explodes. 
Oh shit, he got out of it. He's gotta, he's gotta, go, go, go. That's nice, that's, real, that's really good. That's how you want it to feel? Does that feel better than a bench press? Huh? <laughs> it's different. Tell us, how does that feel? It feels like a dumbbell press. Huh? It feels like a dumbbell press. It was, you get deeper, I think you even get deeper than a dumbbell press. So the benefit of that is, Jamie's gonna go, the benefit of that is you go deeper, you go deeper than a, uh, than a, uh, um, dumbbell or bench press and also the you get a neutral grip so it changes it up a little bit and that's why you want to add these into our exercise and also to show you that you can do these once at the failure at home with no with not that much equipment you can buy these online or a fitness store and it's Jamie's turn then Jamie's a little bit closer no just do it again or do it I don't know if Jamie can reach these ones can you reach Go by milk aid and mom will record me. Go, Jamie. Can you get can you grab it? Yeah, keep your feet on top. Can you do push-ups. Do push-ups. Go, go down, go down. Yeah, up. Up, push, 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 push. Go, go. Go, Jamie. Jamie's really strong for a four-year-old. Go. Wow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Go, Jamie. Go as many as you can. Seven. No, bend your legs, not your butt. You just lift your butt up and down. <laughs> go, go, go. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! High five, Jamie. It's your daddy's turn. Who's going to record daddy? You or mommy? You. You're going to record? Okay, yeah. everyone. Jamie's recording. And Jamie actually does a pretty good job recording. He's better yeah. than Noah. It's fine. Show himself. Jamie is better than Noah recording. Noah's uh, he records the floor. Jamie's got me right in the middle. I see him, and let's see how many let's see how many decline pushups I can do, and then I'll add weight next week. <coughs> that is a bit longer than everyone else. How many do you think I can do? Uh, one, two, three, four. Jimmy try to help daddy. <laughs> oh fuck. I got, I think I got 16 or 17 and I got crazy chest pump. So I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna add 10 pounds to that next week. <laughs> and me and Noah. And the whole family's getting involved in this workout today. Uh, Rachel's gonna do the push up. And uh. And, yeah, and, and me, 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 and me yeah, and me and me. So I'll probably, I might add 15 pounds to that. So I can get under 10 reps. My goal is to get. Just keep cut the and me and Mo and me. Sa'a Bayo. And probably the rings too. I'm going to do ring, deep time push ups. And everybody back to the push ups. We're going to push ups. Aiden wanted to get the milk for babies. Raw milk for babies. And for us, we drink raw milk. So when he comes back to do the weighted push ups. Okay, we're back. We got Aiden's backpack. Well, he took it. And we're gonna slide weights. We're gonna slide weights into the laptop section of it, and then maybe the backside too. So we're gonna use this for weighted push-ups. Aiden's gonna start with 10 pounds. So you're gonna go put 10 pounds in the bag. So he's gonna start 10 pounds, and then we'll see we'll see where Aiden is. So we're using 10 pounds. We're using the bench, and the bench is pretty much level with the higher parallettes. So it's about the same height. So it's similar to being on the floor. Both parallettes, you can go deeper, have a better grip. And um, let's see, put it on it and strap it tight to your body. And uh, we'll see how many push-ups you can do from here. If he gets more than 10, every two reps he gets more than 10, we'll add five pounds to the bag. And I'll do the same thing. I can do 26 
push-ups without weight. So I'm probably gonna add, I don't know what I'm gonna add. I'll probably start with like 45, I'll probably put 45 in there if it fits. Or 35, we'll, we'll see. And I'll put, I'll put, I'll put Micah, Micah weighs around 25, 30 pounds. Okay, let's see how many push-ups. Strap it tight to your body, or is that good? Is that comfortable? We're also doing this to show you that you don't need that much equipment to, to get into shape. Okay, let's see how many reps Aiden can do. Aiden always takes fucking a year and a half to do anything. No! Come on, Aiden. <laughs> let's see how many push ups Aiden can do. It's straight, it's neutral, right? Yeah. It's yeah, just a regular push up, all as deep as you can go. As deep as you can go. Three, and it will be explosive. Three. Just from seeing that, I think you take the weight out. It has got to go just regular push ups. For now, I'll just work on it. They're deep, they're deep, that's why. That's deep. Push, 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 push. Your knees are that. Actually, you can do it on your knees. No, I'll just work on it. Yeah, so you're going to keep it like that? Yeah. So Aiden, Aiden just wants to keep it like that, which is not bad. Low reps is good for strength, it's more power lifting. <laughs> So Aiden, Aiden will keep it at 10 pounds, whatever he's comfortable I'll keep, with. I'll keep going up. Bro. And he's gonna keep, he'll keep it at, he'll keep it at 10 pounds until he gets to 11, 12 reps, and then he'll add a little bit of weight. And yeah, once he gets to 11, we'll add another five pounds, do 15. I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna put in a 45 if it fits. If it doesn't, I'll put a 35 and a 10 and see how many reps I can get. And then we'll go up and down from there. Okay, so I got my backpack. I'm missing my shoes to go to school. But I got I have 45, no, I have 40 pounds. I put 40 pounds into the backpack, which is pretty heavy. And let's see how many push-ups I can do. What do you think, Micah? How many push-ups do you think I can do? And you can see the, uh, these parallettes. And these parallettes. And these parallettes, I put a bolt in here so I can bolt them together from separating. And so you can do them combined together or you can do them separated. Right now, I have it together so it doesn't come apart for extra safety. <laughs> and let's see how many push ups I can do. All I can get is eight, so 40 is perfect. I chose the perfect weight. I'm gonna do 40 again next week. Tell it just poop again. So I'm gonna, do 40, I'm gonna do 40 the next time I do the same exercise. And that's when you got right everything down, keep trying to get everything. And you got a nice chest pump. Hold that last rep for 10 seconds. And that's it, one set to failure. Move on to the next exercise. Don't fuck around. Okay, so the next exercise we're adding, which is new to both Aiden and I, is Jamie move move yourself remove yourself? Yeah. Is we're doing we're gonna do ring fly. And with ring flies, the higher the higher up you go, so the higher up you go, the easier it is. Step back. So up here, up here, it's gonna be easier, but it's not fucking easy. And you want to keep your arms straight. Yeah, but what makes it harder? Going lower. So you have more body weight on it. Oh, so you're using the body weight to do. Five. And then you go, and then this is the hardest. The hardest is down here. That's fucking super hard. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start up here. Okay. We're gonna start up here with five. So you gonna come up here, and you can try to keep your arms straight. Go out and bring them back in. It's just instead of you have, um, picture these rings are the dumbbells from the dumbbell flies. Aiden. So these are the. So you do the same movements. You just have your body weight. And, and then you can judge it by how many steps up you are, how far you are. So up here, and then when you get better, you can go down here, and then down here, and then down here. And we're also gonna do, do push-ups that way. Not the job. 
Oh, cool. Jimmy's got chalk. Look, guys. Jimmy has chalk. Cool. So we're back. We back with eating green flies. Okay, so be patient. Be patient with us. This is the first time we're doing this. So Aiden's gonna try, and then I'm gonna try. Yep. And the goal here is to get eight to ten reps. Jamie's doing his support holds over here. Okay, let's go, Aiden. Do it. Lean forward. Oh, Jamie poked my face. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Two, one. Just like that. Yeah, like that. Two. And your body's gotta get used to it. Two. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Well, next week will be a lot better. How do I do it? Good. Four. Five. Four. Get a chomper. Five. As we get stronger, we'll have our arms straight. A little bit of a bend, I think, is good right now. Six. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Woo! How does that feel compared to the dumbbells? Similar? I like dumbbells. Like dumbbells better? Yeah. So I'm gonna try it. It likes dumbbells better. But we're gonna switch it around. So it's gonna be it's gonna add uh, different elements to our workout. And um, I'll be back with my set. I'm gonna start with one, two, three, probably like three, three, three or four steps back. So I'll start with my fingers, my toes on these tiles, and then see how well I can do these these reps. Oh shit! Woo. So I had eight, and that does feel good. I like that. I like uh, switching it up. I might throw that over the dumbbells. And holding the last rep is really important. Always hold the last rep for ten seconds. Don't do another set. Don't fuck around. Work it like a man. Don't be a little bitch. And on to the next exercise. And the last exercise we do is uh, try push downs. Machine for this one. And, and Moa, me, and Moa, me, and Sink, and Moa, and Mingo, me, and Mingo, me, and 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 me, Aqui, que cat aqui não. Eu também vou pegar aqui. Aqui. E eu vou botar esse water. E a minha mãe. E não vou fazer isso. Do it. E do it. E eu vou fazer isso. Just do it. Do it, Eden. Do it, Eden. Oh, fuck, you had the mic the whole time. I don't think you heard anything. Aiden's doing tries to push down. Keep freaking Jamie has the mic. Go, so whatever Jamie said, plus, plus Aiden doing tries to push downs. Try not to go all the way up. Yeah, right there. And if you can't do it, you have too much weight. No, it's a good way. It's a good way. You got seven. Push, 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 push. Ten seconds. No, 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 no,
Just hold it. We're not going to do sister reps anymore. Why not? Because you need them. It's too much. It's actually beneficial that that's good enough going to failure. So it's your body that that's all you can do, and your body's going to recover, and the next week you're going to be stronger. And I'm not sure if anything's bulking, but I'm still cutting. I'm at 205. So my strength's staying the same. Look how good I look bulking. Yeah, my tricep, actually my tricep pushdowns have stayed the same weight pretty much the whole time I've been cutting. So it hasn't dropped at all, which is a good thing. And it's actually higher than it was for my previous bulk. Not my last bulk, two bulks ago. The top strength I got was what I have now on this cut. So it's a, it goes up like steps. So you go, you go up in your bulk, come a little bit down in your cut, and you go up higher than your previous bulk, come back down, up, down, up, down, and eventually we'll end up top level. And that's it, and Aiden's fucking around. Aiden's doing, Aiden's doing, the, Aiden's doing the gonad stretch. Stretch your gonads, Aiden. Stretch him out. Yeah, this, I can see injuries happening here. And I'll be back with my tricep pushdowns. And I'm back with the last exercise, tricep pushdowns. You can see that I'm getting nice and ripped with my cuts. Yeah, yeah. Sexy daddy. And uh, this can be. I've been cutting the whole time. It's like cut day 120, yeah. 30 something. How am I not being cut at all? You're fucking I've lost like 20 pounds since March. Dad, Dad, you know the worst thing is it? you're skinny. You're getting skinny. You look like a natural. You look like you're on the roids. Here, ready? Maybe you should go on the side here and record me. See how many reps I can get. Nice and controlled. I'm, all, I'm only going to try to be a little bit more dynamic on the body weight stuff. But on this, I'm going to be a little bit more controlled. So I got eight, seven reps. I got seven reps. Held the last rep, the eighth rep that I couldn't get for 10 Mississippi, 10 seconds. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Do one set to failure on all these exercises. And it's fast, efficient, and it's all you need for muscle growth. Let your muscles recover. Next week you should be stronger if you're bulking. You're new to working out. If you're cutting, you should stay around the same strength, uh, depending on where you are. And that's it. Work like a man. Like and subscribe. Click over here to subscribe. Click over here to watch the next video. Come back tomorrow if you're not a little bitch. And have a great day.